that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Yudof Essentials here. So for today's video, I'm going to be using cardboard to make inexpensive home decor items. I measured my cardboard and the next thing I'll do is roll it up. I'm making a little side table so I cut two brown boards. One's going to be for the top and one's going to be for the bottom of the table. If you're new to my channel it's so great to have you here now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos to add a little bit of shape to the table so I'm going to be measuring strips that I'm going to cut from a cardboard and I'll draw out a shape on each of the strips that's going to make a very unique style for the table When I got to this point, I realized that I needed this table to be really strong. So I got two large dowels from Walmart. I cut them into size and then I got two round wooden plaques from Walmart as well. And I'm going to be attaching the cutout dowels to the wooden plaques. And this is going to be inserted inside the structure that I just built. I only attached one wooden plaque for now. I made holes in the cardboard where I'm going to insert the legs to go in. And then after that, at the back, I'm going to be opening it up and then put in the second round wooden plaque. Here are the cutout pieces from earlier. Now it's time to attach them. I'll be using this and a hot glue gun to attach the pieces to the boards. This is the first round. Now I'm going to go in between each and every one of them to add more pieces. For the rose shapes that I need for my design, I'll be using cake molds. I got this from Michael's Craft Store, but I will search online for something similar to it so that I can leave a link for you guys in the description box below. 
Now this is a cooking spray that I got from the Dollar Tree and that's what I'm applying to each of the molds. Now I'm going to be pouring in a mixture of cement and water into each of the molds. I did not fill it up to the top because I only want the design of the rose to show and a flat surface to attach it to the project. So I'm not going to fill it up and I ran out of the mixture so I'm going to stop here. So this is what it looks like when it's dry and it comes out so easy. I'm going to need a lot of these roses and I have just one of this mold because in Michael's craft store it was finished. This was the last one they had. So I'm going to make several batches to be able to meet up with the quantity that I would need for the design. I'll be attaching the rose designs to the cardboards. And I'll be using this Loctite adhesive and a hot glue gun. The Loctite adhesive works so well and it keeps the roses in place. And it even says it has zero second instant grab. They say it works in zero seconds, but I want to be really sure that my roses are in place and they're actually strong and firm. I'm going to hold it for a while before I move on to the next one. This is what it looks like when all the roses have been glued on. Now I'm going to put that aside and then make a rose design for a wall mirror. So this is a mirror from the Dollar Tree that I had detached from the frame. And then I'm going to just trace out the mirror on the board, take it aside, and then start arranging how I want the roses to be on the board. the corners I'm going to be using these frames that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut them into two and I got two of the frames so that gives me four parts that I'm going to be using for the four corners of my board. I would like a different pattern around the corners so I got another mold for Michael's craft store and I'll be using just few of the designs that I have on this mold. This is what it looks like and I'm going to leave it there to dry overnight before I spray paint it. I wanted trying out the roses on something else again so I picked up this flower pot. Well it's a full flower <laughs> so I'm going to be putting the roses around this flower pot just to see what it's going to look like. 
this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to keep it aside for it to dry overnight before I spray paint it. I spray painted the board with the rose mold and the flower pot gold. For the side table, I spray painted it gold as well. And then I used gems from Walmart to hide all the imperfections. And then I got this from the Dollar Tree. And it's a pan and that's what I'm going to be using for the top. I spray painted the sides gold and then I'm going to be covering the top with this 10 inches round mirror. This is how all of the pieces look like together. It's all glitzy and shiny and I love the way it looks. But I want to use money in the patio so I spray printed it white. I did this because I'll prefer to have more white in my patio. Now you can leave yours gold or you can even spray paint it silver. It's all up to you. I do hope you all enjoyed this video on how to turn cardboards, cake molds into inexpensive decor pieces for the home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.